what up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let me first and foremost say i apologize that we have been mia for a minute there's just been back-to-back -back issues that are just out of our hands and it was so frustrating i apologize if you are still riding with us thank you so much for sticking around again means the world to us we hope that we never run into these issues again if you are new to my channel let me just say welcome my name is ashley this is my family channel with my husband and my children let me just say my content is all over the place so i give you a little bit of everything i hope you guys enjoy please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications hopefully i have no more issues and we will be uploading consistently moving forward so on today's video i'm gonna go ahead and do a little get ready with me life update if you guys want to stay around and see what's been going on in our life feel free to join i apologize if i sound a little weird my allergies are acting up my ears are clogged my throat is itchy my eyes are burning like it's been rough if you live in san diego for some reason the weather is a little bipolar so I'm dealing with that today. I'm gonna start everything off with the CeraVe Retinol Surfacing Cream or Serum. I love this product. Let me just tell you, if you again are new, I have six children. Um, I'm not as young as a lot of these young YouTubers. I don't do a lot of skincare in the first place. So I definitely, I don't do any Botox or fillers. My dermatologist did advertise the CeraVe um, brand saying that it's really good for sensitive skin and it's like medical grade as well. So after I go ahead and do my retinol serum, I do go in with the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This does have SPF 30 in it. Let me just say again, girls, if you are trying to stay as young as possible without all the Botox and the fillers, you need a SPF. Because I don't care what you put on, but sunscreen is very important with keeping your skin the youngest looking as possible. Um, after I use the CeraVe, I do go in with the Super Goop SPF 40 Unseen Sunscreen right here. You can get them on Super Goop um, website the areas there is nothing wrong with doubling up on your sunscreen ladies I also everything I put on my face I rub into my hands because listen again your face and your hands is what's gonna tell your age so I go in with this milk primer this actually for me I love this primer I feel like it just locks everything in to keep it in place um, I do go in with a, a good amount of of this so I give a good portion can you see right there and rub it in and I lather I lather it onto my face this I do rub down into my neck I just love for my skin to soak it up let it sit into my pores do what it needs to do before I apply my powders or my liquids so if you're curious of why I have two different hands done this was for my acrylic class that I'm giving right now. I was just playing around. Why I sit here and wait for my skin to go ahead and soak up this primer, let me just jump into why we haven't been on YouTube. For one, let me just tell you, life is really crazy. Again, if you're new to my channel, I have six children. The pandemic, everything going on, it's just been crazy. Um, On top of that, YouTube was having an issue with our channel. So every time I would upload a video, it would go ahead and like ban it or it would take it down. And I we had no idea what was going on, if it was something that the guidelines weren't accepting, whatever it was. So it took us a good minute to get a hold of people on YouTube to find out what was going on. It ended up being a glitch, but when I tell you it took a good minute, it took like two months to figure that out. Once we did get a hold of YouTube and we got that fixed, my camera broke. The, I had the G7X Mark II. I loved it. So that broke, so I ended up getting the Mark III. The Mark III is the worst camera you can get. It does not stay focused. The settings are completely different. It's just, 
It makes things so much harder and I don't understand. I would upload on our computer and when I went to go edit it, there were scenes that were so blurry and if I took them out of the video, the content was so choppy, it wasn't worth it. I ended up having to delete all those videos. That that was a good, like, frustrating moment as well. I took a woosa moment, we, we let it go. I told Christian, I want a good camera. So we went down to Best Buy. We talked to a person there. He did advise us to try out this Sony camera. It's a new vlogging camera. It comes with the microphone, the wind catcher. It's really good for vlogging. I looked up the reviews. It's amazing on reviews. There was one review about the battery life, which we'll see as we go. Um, and just to let you guys know, this is the first time I'm vlogging on this camera. So this is the first video with my new camera. I'm hoping that uploading it onto my computer and then uploading it onto YouTube, I have no issue. So I will keep you guys updated. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready for the day and then I'll take you along on my day. So let's jump into this face. All right, so once I have my lashes done, I do go in and do my eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Eyebrow Pencil. This is the Brow Wiz in color Ebony, and kind of takes me a minute to do it, so I'm gonna do it off camera. I apologize. If you guys want an eyebrow tutorial, comment below, and I will make sure to do a whole video on my eyebrows. All right, you guys, so this is actually my look of the day. So this is my everyday mom look. My hair is a mess, and it's creepy. This is natural hair going on here. But this is definitely makeup of the day. My outfit, let me just show you. I am wearing my friend's shirt, and then we've got the jeans. All right, so I'm waiting for Biscuit to get back in the car. He went in to Panda Express to get some food. We had to leave the house really fast. He had a dentist appointment at 10. Um, he's currently getting all four of his wisdom teeth removed so he can get braces. It's not just him. Let me tell you mom life situation right now. All of my children are having so much dental work done. I'm gonna be living at the dentist for the next year. All right, you guys, I'm home. It's about 3.30. I have a lot of updating to do with you guys. Sorry, my hair's in a bun because it's a hot mess. If you, again, have been following me for a minute, you know all of the updates that we were supposed to be doing on the backyard. The shed that we had done, just everything. Let me, let me just go back from the beginning and let's go over everything that we've done and the current renovations that are going on. And say hi, Missy girl. <laughs> All right, so as we walk out into the backyard, so you can see everything still looks the same. We went ahead, we need to go ahead and again figure out what we're going to do about planting. Um, this area right here, my husband took up some of the deck because. Now that we have this beautiful shed, which is was my studio, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show a clip of what the studio looks like after he renovated it. We went ahead and we took part of that deck and put it in front of my studio so that I would have a little deck there. Um, I cannot show you what's inside, but I'm going to go ahead and show a little clipping of what it looks like, and I'm gonna put that for you now. All right, so now that you saw 
my studio, my husband spent days and hours, sweat and tears, trying to get my studio together. I love it. I am so thankful for him. It was a great investment. We are currently, right now, in the process of renovating this big shed behind us. Let me explain to you what we're doing with this one. All right, so for this shed, we are gonna make it a studio. We went ahead and purchased another um, shed to remove a lot of the stuff from the inside, which we did. So over the last couple months, we have been able to wipe a lot of it out. So we got rid of a lot of stuff. That is my wedding dress up there. <laughs> and we still need to find stuff, or we still need to find an area to put a lot of my husband's um, work tools and all that good stuff. So this is going to be our next big move. We purchased this little shed to put on the side of my house. I got it from Home Depot. We actually put all of our Christmas ornaments, our holiday ornaments, all of that stuff in this shed. Now I just need to find a spot to put all of our workout equipment. Everything was put on hold due to certain things that are out of our control. The wood right now is so high in pricing that everything we got quoted for tripled or quadrupled, 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 am I saying that right? And pricing. So if it went from a $10,000 project, now it's a $30,000 project, just because of how expensive wood is. If you are in a home renovation, you know the struggle and if it ain't the worst thing that could have happened to us. I, we don't know what we're gonna do. So we're trying to brainstorm right now what our next steps are to get these projects done. So if you're following me for home renovation, keep in touch because we've got a lot of things. Look who got a new phone. Everybody's laughing at me, it's been two years. It's official. I didn't get nothing fancy, but I did spend money. So it is what it is.